Okay, so tomorrow night or tonight, depending on where you are in the world, we've got the Joe Joyce Christian Hammer show. Now, on paper, this show looks pretty poor. Joe Joyce Christian Hammer top of the bill. That should be a routine stay busy fight for Joe Joyce. Hammer can make himself difficult to stop. We saw that against Povetkin. We saw that against Luis Ortiz. He actually threw some pretty dangerous right hands over the top against Luis Ortiz. He was a bit more game than usual uh, in that fight. But when he wants to be, he can shell up and make it difficult for you to stop him. Although Huey Fury did manage to stop him. You know, he retired on his stool. That wasn't too long ago. So you would have thought that Joe Joyce should be able to get him out of there. But like I say, when you're dealing with one of these wily veterans who doesn't want to be stopped and they're determined to survive, it can be difficult. But hopefully Joe Joyce gets it done and gives us something worth watching, <laughs> right, in, on this card because it doesn't look like a great card. you got Jason Cunningham versus Alani Tetti, chief support, that's for the Commonwealth title. And then beneath that, it's just, you know, miscellaneous Nathan Heaney against somebody, Mark Chamberlain against Mark Vidal, Mickey Burke against uh, M- Mbomo, I pronounce that name, Henry Turner. The only other fight that I'm interested in on this card other than Joe Joyce, and that's just to see Joe Joyce have target practice against Hammer. It's not really a fight, at least on paper, right? and certainly not in my head. But the only other thing I'm interested in watching, apart from Joyce, is Tommy Fletcher. And shout out to G-Man, by the way. G-Man did. G-Man's uh, in London at the moment. And he's been covering, he's been at the uh, press events for this particular show. And he's done a couple of excellent interviews. So make sure you check out G-Man's channel. And one of the interviews he did was with Mark Tibbs. And Mark Tibbs was talking about this guy, a debutant cruiserweight called Tommy Fletcher. And he says that Tommy Fletcher is the hardest puncher he's ever worked with. Now, I don't know whether Mark Tibbs is just hyping or whether he's actually being serious. He appears to be serious in the interview with G-Man. This is the hardest puncher he's ever worked with. And bear in mind, Mark Tibbs has worked with Dylan White, who punched very hard. And of course, uh, Johnny Fisher, who even though he's a raw novice, he's a very big lump and he certainly can whack. So for him to say that Tommy Fletcher hits harder than both of those guys, I'm intrigued. I want to see who this Tommy Fletcher character is. Apparently, he's very young in his uh, early 20s. So yeah, I'd like to see who this guy is and whether he hits as hard as Mr. Tibbs says he does. But other than that, not much on the card. There was supposed to be Callum Smith on the card against Igor. Excuse, not Callum Smith. Callum Johnson, excuse me. It's late here, people. Uh, Callum Johnson against Igor McCalkin was supposed to be on the undercard. But Callum Johnson's apparently pulled out with an injury which is unfortunate. Uh, Since linking up with Frank Warren, he hasn't really got the opportunities that he was looking for. You know, his manager, trainer Joe Gallagher, fell out with Eddie Hearn, and Gallagher took his fighters elsewhere, uh, supposedly for better opportunities and better pay and all this kind of thing. But it isn't working out at the moment for Callum Johnson. He's for Markick and... This other guy in 2021, right? Nondescript opposition. He didn't get the Joe Smith Jr. fight. They're not going to put him in there against Anthony Yard anytime soon. Yard's got the Paterbia fight coming up. So who's he really going to fight in Frank Warren's stable? I don't see where he's going right now. Maybe if he'd stayed with Eddie Hearn, there might be a few more opportunities. Craig Spider Richards, maybe. Uh, Joshua Boatsy, possibly depending on what Dimitri Bivol's doing, even a fight against Dimitri Bivol. I mean, you would say with Frank Warren having a close relationship with Bob Arum, they might be able to get him the uh, Baturbia fight. But again, Baturbia is, is not a Frank Warren fighter. He's a Bob Arum fighter. And he appears to be fighting Anthony Yard next anyway. And after he fights Anthony Yard, surely he's going to try and unify with Bivol. So the way the timing all works out, Again, it might have been better for Johnson to stay with Hearn. But anyway, that's all done. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about Johnson and his career. Um, Is he an underachiever? Is he a guy who allowed his best years to pass him by? Because when he fought Frank Bullioni, if we go back to, uh, where is it now? Looking for the Frank Bullioni fight. Yeah, back in 2018, he'd been out the ring for two years. 
<laughs> so he'd had this long, long period of inactivity. And then he came back out of nowhere, knocked out Frank Bullioni in a round, then went straight into the Baturbia fight and gave a good account of himself. Even though he got stopped in four, he did drop Baturbiev and, you know, he, for a moment, looked like he was going to pull off a huge upset. Then he fought Shawnee Monaghan, and that was the Eddie Hearn show in the United States. Got paid a lot of money for that, apparently. But after that, the whole drama between Eddie Hearn and uh, Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a.k.a. Joe Gallagher, <laughs> just built to a head, and he was taken off to Frank Warren. So I don't know whether that's the best choice for him. Uh, Igor McCalkin. You know, he's been around the block, fought a bunch of people, obviously lost to Kovalev several years ago. Uh, I've never been particularly amazed or enthused by him as a fighter, 37 years of age, getting on himself. And Callum Johnson, of course, is getting on. So will he get another opportunity at world title? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And if he doesn't, what other fights would you like to see him in? And of course, let me know how you feel about this card in general.